I don't really have a specific question, more like my intention is to up here to play with you, to maybe bring this conversation to where it's never been. I feel like money and materials comes very easily to me because I don't desire them as much, but more accurately, my resistance isn't as, as oh, strong. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> they come because I don't care about them? Well, they sort of just drop off the sky, but I mean, they don't. But to an outside person looking at my life, when I said, I'm So are you saying you don't worry about it? Would you say you just expect it to be that way? Expectation feels that I'm thinking about it all the time, but it no, just feels... No, it doesn't. Expectation means that there is a desire and a belief in the same place. Okay. That's what an expectation is. Desire and belief in the same place. You don't have to be talking about it all the time, but you're not talking against it either. I asked for $10,000 and you said about try to do 20, 30, 40, 50% less. I offer no effort. It's just, I say, I'm just going to put it out there. It's going to drop. So and you don't offer effort because you understand that the laws of the universe are bringing whatever you want to you. Are you saying to us that you don't justify the well-being that comes through effort and hard work? You're not justifying anymore. You're just expecting it to come. It flows easily. That's the key right there. So how do you come to expect something that hasn't manifested? So you say, well, money isn't coming easy to me, and I'd like to be like that guy, I'd just like to expect it, but how do you expect something that hasn't been happening when you've been noticing what's been happening? What's the obvious answer? You have to notice a little less what's been happening. You have to stop taking score of what is. You have to find some way to put what is where it belongs. You have to put what is where it belongs in the past tense category. What is no longer matters because what is does not have to continue to be the regurgitated active vibration. What is doesn't have to be the active vibration. What's wanted can be the active vibration. But what's the payoff for you? What are you going to focus on in order to stay focused on the vibrational reality rather than the manifested reality. How do you get yourself to focus forward instead of backwards? How do you stop looking at what is when what is is so compelling? Something else has to be equally compelling. Let's play with this just for a moment and then we will hear you. <laughs> do you enjoy a feeling of clarity. Do you? Do you like to feel so clear in your mind that you know exactly what you're doing? You know when you click into that? You know those moments in time when clarity is just so strong that it feels to you like you just can't get it wrong, at least not right now. Things are just really clicking for you. Is that something worth focusing on? And is it a condition or is it an uncondition? We know these words sound awkward to you, but we're wanting to somehow cajole you into not facing reality anymore. Your reality is the platform that you bounce off of. But if you let it be what you are giving your undivided attention to, your reality will hold you apart from your motion forward. So you have to find a way to put reality where it belongs, which is past tense, it's old news. What's already manifested isn't where the sweet spot it is, isn't where the action is, it isn't where the energy is, it isn't where the fun is, it isn't where the leading edge is, it isn't where the new ideas are. It's the hatching of the new idea, it's the experience of the new rendezvous, it's the turning the vibration into a thought, it's the receiving of the thought, it's the conscious awareness that you've received a thought, it's the emotional feeling of worthiness that the thought has come and the emotional feeling of positive expectation that that's going to amount to something and every single thing you want no matter what it is material object state of being lover in your bed pile of money doesn't matter what it is every single thing you want is because you believe you will feel better in the having of it so if we can get you to just for 
two days, just for two days, say, what's the feeling that I'm reaching for? What's the feeling? So what did you come to talk to us about? It's sort of like a recalibration of step five, embracing contrast with unconditional love. It feels like it's easier with material, but when it comes to people, when I put so much effort and care into effort and care into someone, I would kind of like to keep them around a little bit, but then it just seems to flow in and out. But when I don't care about material, I couldn't care. When they come in, they go, I just let them go. But when it comes to people... Um, well, people are the trickiest thing of all because they've got their own opinions about what they should be doing with their lives. It's just really annoying that they don't line up to serve you in the way they need to. <laughs> And some of it is because they want different things than you want from them. And some of it is because they are not in control of their own vibration yet. But people are really tricky. What you are best to do relative to people is just find a way of feeling good about what you're flowing to them. Because if you are evaluating the conditions that they are flowing to you, you have no control of that. That's a cycle that you will never work your way out of so when you said embracing the contrast it kind of felt like embracing the part when i'm aware that i'm being a conditional lover which means i understand that i want to be unconditional but trying to stop the train sometimes just it just adds momentum to the train now i want to embrace that contrast by go oh well i'm just gonna let it crash let us put just one little idea in this mix that is available to you all the time but you haven't been receiving it oh. so we're just going to speak it to you in a see it hear it smell it taste it touch it way we're going to put it in your ear so that you can contemplate it but what if there's something that you want that's in your vortex like the mastery of creation what if there's something in your vortex that causes you to call someone to you who misbehaves I, I hear you what if in them not jumping through the conditional hoops, wouldn't it be easy if everyone would just behave and all you'd have to do is just observe their really good behavior and you could feel good all the time? Yeah. Peace. But you do not do anyone else a good service and they certainly do not do you a good service when they work hard to keep you happy because what they're doing is manipulating conditions which is not sustainable you found that out nine days after you got married <laughs> it's not sustainable but if someone has the audacity to not conditionally try to please you so that you have to discover how to hook up with something that does please you apart from them. Now you can, in a short period of time, master what true alignment is. I felt like the breakup in February was worth it once I found my alignment to be in that zone of realizing from a broader perspective to see that it was worth it because now I truly understand what unconditional love is rather than but wouldn't it be great if how often do you say well it was awful for a while but then after the fact I now see that that was a beneficial thing wouldn't it be nice if you could accept that everything is a beneficial thing while it's happening because one of two things is happening either it's bringing you clarity it's either enhancing your desire or it's in this moment satisfying your desire it's either making your desire grow or it's fulfilling it right here and now and we think we love you so much that you are dramatically underestimating the value of a growing desire growing desire doesn't feel good to you if you're not good at keeping up to speed with it because your desire is growing and you're not and 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 we promise you your desire is growing so your desire is growing but you're focused upon a condition and your desire is growing you're focused on a condition and your desire is growing and you're focused on a condition and after a while the tug of war is so strong within you that you just sort of give up and then you close the gap just a little bit sort of by default almost like accidentally and then you just keep repeating that cycle but what if 
you could desire and recognize that no it hasn't manifested but it's in the process of becoming and what if you could start looking for the juice of it now what if you could accept that all that contrast all that step one which launched step two what if you could accept how good that is for you so now you're that step five master you're not condemning them you're not condemning you you're not condemning contrast you're embracing it you're adoring it you're adoring it for the juice that it gave to your life and for the clarity that it gave to your inner being and to your inner being who stands there knowing all of that and to your emotional guidance system that is letting you know that you're not quite up to speed with it and to your desire to feel good that helps you get up to speed with it and then oh the payoff comes clarity happens in your mind a good idea happens in your mind you feel exhilarated about something nothing has changed but you feel better anyway you are unconditionally feeling better and now you are in charge of your world now you are the creator of your own reality now you are the conscious deliberate creator of your own reality and then looking back you can say to your friend you know you really gave me a run for my money but the juice that came out of that is the best thing that ever happened to me you helped to put me in a place of desire that now I have accomplished that I would never have achieved if it had not been for you it's almost like my inner being guided me to this contrast for the expansion that would be there and we know you don't want to hear that sometimes but you only don't want to hear it when you're turned away from it you do want to hear it when you're turned toward it it feels so good to go with the flow to allow the other day Esther was at her house and it's in the mountains in the Rocky Mountains and it's up high and she was up in a upper room looking out of a window and there's a very big tree that was right there at eye level with her and she had seen a couple of hawks flying around for a few days and now one of those hawks is in the tree and it's really kicking up a racket she can't at first understand what it wants and she's almost the distance that she is from you and here's this bird outside her window just calling 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 and Esther's thinking give it a rest calling 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 and suddenly it occurred to Esther that mother bird is calling her baby to her Esther always thought that they kicked them out of the nest not these birds she flew to the highest point on this property high on a mountain and called this little bird that had never flown anywhere ever to her and she didn't stop calling until the bird came Esther thought oh she must have been really demanding <laughs> or really encouraging or absolutely certain that that bird would come so certain that that bird would come that she did not leave her perch she did not go down and say where have you been she did not say what's taking so long she did not say can you not hear me she just stood there and called and called and called and called and that's what your source is doing your source is in your vortex calling you and 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 when you don't answer the call that's what negative emotion is and when you do answer the call that's what elation is that's what invigoration is that's what enthusiasm is that's what love and appreciation are your source is in your vortex calling you and 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 when you don't answer the call that's what negative emotion is and when you do answer the call that's what elation is that's what invigoration is that's what enthusiasm is that's what love and appreciation are your source is in your vortex calling you and 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 when you don't answer the call that's what negative emotion is and when you